in her room at the prow of the house, where light breaks and the windows are tossed with linen, my daughter is writing a story. I pause in the stairwell, hearing from her shut door a commotion of typewriter keys, like a chain hauled over a gunwall. Young as she is, the stuff of her life is a great cargo, and some of it heavy. I wish her a lucky passage. But now it is she who pauses, as if to reject my thoughts, and its easy figure. A stillness greatens, in which the whole house seems to be thinking. But then she's at it again, with a bunched clamor of strokes, and again is silent. I remember the day's starling, which was trapped in that very room two years ago. How we stole in, lifted a sash, and retreated not to affright it. And how for a helpless hour, through the crack of the door, we watched the sleek, wild, dark, and iridescent creature batter against the brilliance, drop like a glove to the hard floor or the desktop. And wait then, humped and bloody, for the wits to try it again. And how our spirits rose, when suddenly sure, it lifted from a chair back, beating a smooth course for the right window and clearing the sill of the world. It is always a matter, my darling, of life or death as I had forgotten. I wish what I wished you before, but harder. <laughs>